30 minute session for a client. If you're interested in checking out the previous session, I'll put a link in the description. I'm gonna go ahead and read the goals here and get started. Okay, it says, I'm looking to continue work from a previous session, Journey to the Higher Self. I would like to make a closer bond with my higher self. I was shown something beautiful and would like to align more closely with that energy. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and relax here. All right. There's definitely a lot to look at. Still making sense of what it means to me. The first thing, there is, a, I guess, a bowl, and it's clear, so I can see you are on the inside of it, okay? And I see what is like a, a bloom, a tea bloom, and you kind of represent a tea bloom on the inside of this, this bowl, which is also like a, a cup for drinking tea. And there's hot water that is being poured in and it's encouraging you then to open up like a flower. But you're, you seem to be waiting for some kind of activation, some kind of trigger. It's almost like you're the tea bloom that's saying, okay, just say when. <clears throat> just, just tell me when I'm supposed to open up. Well, the hot water then... Is supposed to open you up like it's kind of a, a natural process it just seems to happen like it knows what to do so if you have to think about how to be yourself as a flower bloom like a tea tea flower there's so, that is the missing ingredient is understanding how to just naturally open up This is, has some complicated aspects to it. So the space that I see you in, there's something very zen-like to it. It almost feels like a bathhouse, but a very high-end type energy. Like an expensive place to go. You're also inside of a clear box. And so I'm looking at you through some boundaries, some walls. And I see you inside in this bowl, which you are a tea, tea flower bloom. But you aren't blooming yet. You're wondering when you're supposed to. And the water, hot water is coming in. And there, again, is this exquisite high-end bathhouse type energy to this whole experience. Now, if I step back further, I see that where you are located inside this box inside these walls um, is an actual swimming pool space like a like a YMCA indoor pool with some diving boards and lots of kids running around and with goggles on or swim caps or or floaty arms or I mean different ages just jumping in or swimming around and splashing and playing So one has a very humanistic experience to it. It's down to earth, it's childlike, it's playful. And the other one has an elevated sort of awakening type experience. It's inside these boundaries. It's sort of separate from this human space. So when you're in the boundaries, you don't experience the other human world it's like you're in a higher place and in, inside your own mind or within your soul or um, beyond yourself but yet there is a something that it just simply it doesn't know how to complete the process of itself opening up fully
It's going to take me a minute here to figure out what the right approach is to all of this. It's almost like I feel like I'm silent. Like I I don't want to interrupt your exquisite bathhouse moment in this awa awakening and opening up process. So I'm just going to watch patiently and just enjoy the experience of your awakening, okay? So I can't give you any pointers. I can't tell you what to do. I can't alter the balance that exists within these boundaries, within these walls. And if I can't alter that, then how am I to reach you to ask you some questions about this YMCA pool? So even for me, there is a feeling of being conflicted, which also is you. So you yourself are looking at the situation and feeling conflicted as to how to reach yourself in order to help you to open up. So do you see how there's an interesting kind of echo of trying to figure something out going on in here? But yet you're so close. <laughs> All right, your higher self is making an appearance here. I, I can feel the energy. And your higher self is showing me how many boundaries that you are putting up. And they're so clear that you wouldn't... It's interesting because the word clear, it's like... You can't actually see the boundaries. They're, they're clear, they're see-through. But it's interesting, it's so clear that <laughs> but it, it's not clear these boundaries they're hidden they're really hidden because they are clear <laughs> but there are more and more and more and more walls in the midst of all of this and your higher self is revealing all of these boundaries all of these walls it's so amazing because you're you're following your own tune, your own harmony, and your own version of raising your vibration and awakening. And so where I would be like, you know what, you need to just ruffle up your own feathers and go jump in the pool and realize you're awakened when you're playing and laughing with these kids. So don't, it doesn't have to be the exquisite bath. I like, so I'm telling you what my method would be, but that's my ladder. <laughs> that's my technique. So what's interesting is it's not for me to advise you. That, that's usually, that's what I do. I'm advising people, but I don't know. I'm not supposed to cross this line. So I can sit here and tell you everything that I'm seeing, everything that I'm, I'm discovering, but you're going to decide inside yourself what what you want to do. What is right for you. I mean, with someone else, I might uh, be called to break down all of your walls. With somebody else, I might be called to tease you. <laughs> with somebody else, I might be um, called to... Um, may you know turn everything into a rainbow color um you know like it, but for you i'm just supposed to do this right now okay okay some new awareness here All right, so it appeared as though this exquisite bathhouse where you're working on opening up, all right, it appeared, I thought, maybe was your crown, would represent your crown, um, and maybe this pool represents your heart, but it's actually um, this exquisite bathhouse represents your heart, and then this pool represents your sacral chakra. 
in the pool with children. And now when I say that, I, I see you getting more flustered. You're getting tired. You're actually overheating because it's just like sitting in a sauna for too long. It's even making it hard for you to think clearly, to even know what to do. There's more happening. This is a heavy weight, a burden of some kind. I'm still trying to understand what it's saying. Um, it does. It has to do with your heart and it has to do with your sexual body. And I see you in the water trying to open up and you can't seem to do it. And so you're crying and you're being frustrated now with yourself. And it's sort of shattering the exqu exquisite bathhouse vibe. So you're breaking your own walls down. It's almost like you reached a really special point. But to go higher, you need to break down some of the vulnerabilities inside yourself. And as those vulnerabilities are broken down, you can go higher. And then once you get to that plateau, there'll be vulnerabilities you need to break down up there in order to go higher. So there's not one awakening experience. It's like always climbing the ladder of yourself, you know. Boy, this is reaching you. I start to see the water um, that you're sitting in is full of blood now and you're really, really upset and it's starting to collide. It's like this uh, meteor is starting to, this heart chakra, um, this awakening that we're attempting is starting to come down and then hit the ground like, a sh like hitting the earth really hard, a hard impact, but it's coming down and it's hitting the pool water really, really hard. And this blood is just going everywhere. It's like feminine menstrual blood. And everything that was perfect just like fell up from grace. It's like angels falling from heaven. Not because they were bad, but because they were good. And they fell and it hurt. It hurt to fall. And trying to bring yourself back to heaven again. Trying to build yourself back up again. Trying to figure out how to be what you already know how to be inside. But it just doesn't seem to work. Something is missing. But what's missing is facing these vulnerabilities. And healing these vulnerabilities then mends you inside. And then helps you to raise your vibration. So right now you're in a vulnerable place, you're in tears, and you're a bit in shock because it was so perfect and then it wasn't so perfect. It just all fell apart. And that wasn't a failure on your part. It was actually because you wanted to raise your vibration that it all fell apart. <laughs> so you're actually falling apart in order to go higher. And so everything's just divinely perfect, you know? <laughs> Your higher self is really incredible. In this experience, there's mystery, there's a silence, there's encouragement for you to find the power within yourself. I mean, it's a very high level I mean, you working with your higher self is on the in this way means your higher self is challenging you to open and awaken psychic ability, sensory skills, 
to open you up to something beyond the human senses because your higher self is not giving us all the answers. Although it is representing quite a lot here, showing quite a lot here. But I can feel there is that element of challenging you. And you're doing everything right. You're doing everything absolutely perfectly. Like, like it couldn't be better. It couldn't have been done any better. So from the viewpoint of trying to make sense of everything we've seen thus far, it's like, it's a worst nightmare situation. Everything has gone wrong. And... There's no fixing it. It's like it's going to take a miracle to repair all this, to put it all back the way that it was. It's kind of like this. It's like, I woke up today thinking it was going to be a great day, and then this happened, and this happened, and then this happened, and then this happened, this happened, this, 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 and now look at everything's a mess. But we're talking like the house blew up, the car, you know, went off the side. Like everything went backward, upside down, inside down. <laughs> And now we're left with what the heck am I supposed to do with this? But this is right. This is all correct. This is a reflection of healing the vulnerable stuff and then letting all that stuff go and then rising above it. And see what you say to this. You're such an interesting person to connect with because you're many different viewpoints. And I don't even know if I'm doing you enough justice here with my ability to keep up and then speak through everything. You have a side of yourself that is in the middle of this collapse, this breakdown, this hit of the planet, this shattering, and this mass confusion as to what just happened. The blood is still pouring out. You know, it's like a mayhem. Like kids are running around screaming. <laughs> you know, like it's a mayhem, okay? While you also have this, this higher self view that is just completely generating pure, pure balance, pure grounded solidity, pure higher awareness, saying nothing, just standing there representing being grounded and having higher awareness, representing it. That is it, not saying anything. Now you have this other part of you that is with me and we're looking at this together. And you're analyzing yourself and what it all means to you. So it's not all that chaotic, but to one part of you it really is. And... The next thing, wow, I'm going to look at these two of you as sisters. One sister that is in the middle of the chaos at the pool. The other sister that is watching to try to figure out what it means to her, but not going to help you at all. Just remaining here. That isn't out of, there's nothing negative about that choice. It's just a choice. That's it. It hasn't had an answer come inside of itself. That's why the sister isn't moving or doing anything. She doesn't have an inspiration yet. There's nothing wrong with that. Whereas you're crying and bewildered and wondering why and what to do. Your higher self stays grounded and representing being grounded with higher awareness. Silently. So I see the sister that is elevated, closes her eyes, and sends information into your heart. And asks you if you judge yourself. With everything that is going on, is, is that your fault? Do you judge yourself for anything that has taken place today? In this moment? You say, well, it was me that fell. It was me that started to bleed. It is me that's freaking these kids out now. It is me. I am the epicenter of the event. And she says, but do you judge you? Do you judge you for it? 
and you say, I don't know how to, I don't know how, how did, why did it happen like this? I don't know how to undo it or to do it right to this, this doesn't happen. Why is this happening? So again, it's very much so the human trying to solve the puzzle. And then this like sister self is um, a higher dimensional self, not like, this would be more like six or seven dimensional self, okay? Trying to support herself in the incarnate earth form, okay? Whereas your higher self is still solid, like silent and solid over there. She's like a poster for, for a message without saying the message. Encouraging you to not overthink. Choose grounded and higher awareness. And that will put everything back together again, even if it's never back together. You are put back together. And everybody else gets to decide if they want to get put back together or if they want to feel scrambled and confused. You're still bleeding as you come out of the pool. And you're pale white. And you're crying as you are trying to be strong for yourself and everyone else, but you are still in a state of shock. And something is happening that is quieting down these, it's like these never ending kids are just running and crying. It's, it's, that's, it's, it's all silencing. All the sounds are silencing. And you are not the center of attention. You are not the center of the problem, but you are at the center of yourself. You are really encouraged to solve some major, I mean, high, like hardcore, you are on an incredible journey. I don't know how to define what level of awe it is to me, but you are receiving really intensive, difficult um, level for a human to process higher wisdom and grounded energy. And you still feel very human, but you are absorbing that awareness and you are looking for an answer inside yourself. And you are starting to rebuild from here and you are rebuilding on a level that is like greater than it ever was before. And what you re are rebuilding with is self-love, self-love. Which makes it all that much stronger. And there's a message about how are you to solve, solve the mysteries of life if you're still learning self-love. It's like you learn self-love each and every day. You continue to work on self-love. We all are going to continue to work on self-love our whole lives. We're, we're working on mastering it each and every day, right? And as we continue to master self-love, it's like we continue to awaken ourselves naturally. And we are going to run into those parts that aren't able to love ourself. So as your self-love gets awesomer and awesomer, it's starting to send a signal now to this part that doesn't know how to self-love. It's reaching a vulnerable part of yourself, asking that part to open up like a flower, like a tea bloom. <laughs> And it's, it's vulnerable and saying, no, 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 please, I don't want to work on this. Please don't make me work on this. But this higher, this sister self is very patient, very loving, connected with this higher self of yours, who is even higher than all of this other self, okay? Do you see how complicated and amazing it all is? So, so this is slowly opening up because of the power of self-love. Now, this self-love may need some time 
to work on itself because this is opening up and this is needs time to work on self-love. So now they're working together to bring balance to it, to continue to master self-love through this time, okay? This learning, this, this exercise, this experience. Now this is feeling a lot better. So self-love is like, you know, I got this. I, I'm gonna continue to work on self-love. And as you continue to work on self-love, you're opening up another tea bloom to yourself which is encouraging yet another little vulnerable spot to say, no, 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 I've been trying to hide from you for so long, but you're getting so good with self-love, and oh God, I'm opening up! Oh, okay, I can love myself. Okay, oh, that's so hard. Oh, thank you. Now we can be friends again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if I only had some puppets. <laughs> but you see how that works? <laughs> But this is your this is your journey. This is your journey. Gosh, it's like I feel so warm inside and happy. I feel like I'm at the exquisite bathhouse and I'm the tea bloom in the hot water and it's okay to open up. And it's always been like a beautiful process. It's been innocent and childlike. It's been so innocent and childlike. It's like living by the moment of, am I going to jump in or am I going to climb in through the ladder? Am I going to splash my friend or am I going to go search for things under the water? You know, it's as innocent and as inspired as a child. While at the same time, it's, it's refined, it's, it's aged, it's uh, mature, um, it's contemplative, it's intellectual, <laughs> exquisite, you know? So it's a simultaneous energies um, that's like this well-rounded you. And now that I'm saying all of this, we're returning to the original scene and there aren't any walls up. Everything is connected. Your sacral chakra feels like a blessing. Your heart feels like a blessing. And all the flowers of your chakras are just knowing that they're a blessing too. And just opening up opening up to the light, a light within you and the light of all, right? And your higher self and you are just merging as one body. So you can feel grounded and you can have higher awareness while also just relishing in the inner child and continuing to work on self-love and to love yourself and be so proud of you. So it's interesting because I'm doing, I'm supporting you in this process, but it's like, believe it or not, it's been really hands off because you, you, like I'm watching these events, I'm telling you what's going on, but you're, you're participating in a lot of it and trying to work through the complexities of it all and smoothing it all out in this incredible way that you do and bringing yourself back to a place of enlightenment while having, you know, ruffled your own feathers and then taking the ruffles out, smoothed it on over and everything is like a crystal clear. It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. You feel so much more aligned with yourself. Again, you have a sister self that's guiding you here and then your higher self, but we can go even higher than that still. This sister self, you know extremely well. I mean, she's a higher self, but she's more like, I don't know, seventh dimension or something, sixth, seventh dimension in comparison to what it feels like to be in the human dimension. She's like up here and there's a lot of abundance and love, um, but you can keep going up and the higher you go, the more expanded in awareness that you are until you get to a point where it's just complete silence <laughs> And that's the highest aspect of, of us all is complete silence. It's complete spirit. It's complete source, like complete consciousness. It's complete. It's like going into energy that that is everything and nothing. That is an even higher version of your the highest self that you are here. She could say is like a 12th dimensional higher self. The higher you go up in dimension, the the more in the oneness that you are. And some of that, it's almost like 
you can experience it in your human body, you have to go very silent to just allow. It's almost like there's no message, there's no no necessarily feeling, but there is. It's like nothingness. It's like just waiting. It's like timeless. But it can feel just like presence though too, but silent presence. So I'm introducing you to that aspect of your higher self which is pure oneness it's in the silent realms like it's pure silent realm uh, you had it's so interesting because it's like you had a little tiny um like let's say there is a a pure vein of connection there's always a pure vein of connection there was something just slightly like in there. It's like uh, an artery that had just a little bit of buildup in it, okay? <laughs> um, but it's all turning, it's just opening itself up and saying, I'm ready for this. I'm ready to be opened and awakened to these new mysteries of myself. You feel like a pure thread and connection of... Oh, high awareness, extremely high awareness. It's amazing. It's also introducing you to, to what appeals to you about being human. Is the challenge of, of remembering who you are. Is everybody and everything and the experience of not remembering or not feeling like you are everyone and everything. But it brings your soul so much joy to have what could be called conflict, okay? But when you, whenever you radiate through that, you literally radiate through it. And it just dissolves any uh, in sp any conflict like it doesn't didn't even exist it was never even there in the first place and you just become connected to pure source and pure what is the refined like it's truth it's truth it's pure you it's pure spirit you feel opened up I feel a light, a lot of light now um, in the third eye and the crown, but also your heart, sacral chakra were really big, big ones that are um, being touched today in the session. You love, you're, you're starting to see many parts of yourself at different dimensional levels of awareness and you are hugging every version of you. They're, they're all your sisters and you're hugging them. Our higher selves can be male, female, both. It can be anything. But right now, it's an experience of sisterhood. And it's very, 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 very beautiful. Should be on Lifetime TV or something. <laughs> it's a great woman's show. I'm really vibing with it. <laughs> it's sisterhood. <laughs> it's really beautiful. It's got great energy to it. <laughs> It's so beautiful. This is so, so great. Like, oh my gosh. It's just getting brighter and better and better and brighter. It's just, it's still happening. You're still getting like so bright and so tuned in and so connected and so in oneness. It's almost like all the sister selves are merging into one light and you're feeling the merging of yourself with your higher self and even reaching just just complete consciousness complete like you're there you're totally there in this just pure 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 realm of just complete consciousness and oneness you're coming back to your human self and you're just so full of hugs to share <laughs> you love people so much you're just such a loving person. Like you really do love people. You're just you're just a gift of love to all of us. So I experienced the collective 
every soul in the collective we all come and we give you a really big hug and say thank you to you for being here with us and you give us all like you become really big and you pick us all up like a kid with like a hundred stuffed animals like and you're like picking us all up and hugging all of us at the same time and our little legs are like going it's really cute it's wonderful <laughs> it's like very wonderful the hugging experience you're you're giving us the hugs and then then we are giving you the hugs like it's incredible feeling it's so much love it's genuine it's like very innocent it's like a child feels inspired to hug you just from the bottom of their heart like that's the love that you share and that's the love that we share with you too so kind hmm All right, that's what I have. That, that was amazing. Thank you so much for this experience. Thank you for sharing. And uh, for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Okay, thank you all again. Have a beautiful day. <laughs>